Hello, nice to see you again. Welcome back to our module six gadget lab, creating a virtual private cloud. So it's me Pratap. So let's start the gadget lab. So in this lab, it will show us how to build our own VPC, deploy resources and create private peering connection between VPCs. So after completing this lab, we should be able to deploy a VPC, create an internet gateway and attach it to the VPC, create a public subnet, create private subnet, create an application server to test the VPC. So this is how our architecture would look like in the end of this lab. So we will have a public subnet, we'll be having a private subnet, and then we will have this security group inside this EC2 and we'll have an internal gateway. So let's start with task one, creating a VPC. So to do that, let's start the AWS. Let's go through this. So what is a VPC? A VPC is a virtual network that is dedicated to your AWS account. It's logically isolated from other virtual network and in the AWS cloud. So this is what we should remember. So it's logically isolated. Okay, so let's go to services and let's start VPC. Uh, so it's here, let's go to VPC. So we have here, we have here your VPC. So two VPCs are created by default for us. So let's ignore for that. And let's go ahead and choose our own VPC. So let's create a VPC and let's follow along. So let's give a name. So let's do the exact same thing. Lab VPC. So the CIDR block would be 10 0 0 0 slash 16. And then let's choose create VPC. So I don't know what error was that, but uh, our VPC is available now. So let's choose tags. So we have your name, uh, lab VPC. And let's go to action and action. It is did VPC setting. So we need to assign a friendly domain name to this easy instance in the VPC select enable dns host name so we need to enable this dns host name and then let's click on save so let's follow along so now task 2 is creating a subnet so we have a vpc lab vpc so inside of lab vpc we'll be creating a public subnet and a private subnet so let's first create a public subnet so in the left navigation let's go to subnet and let's say create a subnet so there are lots of subnet so let's ignore that so let's create subnet. So we need to select a VPC, which should be lab VPC. And then let's say the name is public subnet, public subnet, available select the first available zone in the list. Do not give the no present. Let's choose the first and let's add the CID block. And let's say create subnet so this way we have created a public subnet but is it this subnet is not a public yet because it is not connected to the internet gateway or net gateway right so so let's select public subnet and let's go to action edit subnet enable auto send public ipv4 address And then we have to click on save. So though this sub, uh, subnet is named public subnet, so it's not public yet because we don't have any internet gateway yet. So let's go ahead and create a private subnet. So let's follow the same procedure. So it will be lab VPC and let's different, just let's choose different uh, CADR blocks. Oh, let's choose the name first. So it should be private subnet. And same and let's choose this serial block and let's say create subnet so th since this is private subnet so we don't have to give assign any IPv for address okay so now let's create an internet gateway so internet gateway is here so I have opened in a new tab So an internet gateway serves to purpose to provide a target route tables that connect to the internet and to perform network address translation for instance that we are assigned public IPv4 address. So let's create internet gateway 
create internet gateway let's all follow along so let's say lab igw uh, lab internet gateway create internet gateway so now i can go and attach this internet gateway to the lab vpc so i can go to action attach to vpc lab vpc attach internet gateway so this way i have attached this internet gateway to the vpc so we so though you created like though we created an internet gateway and attached to the vpc now i need to configure the subnet route table to make it a public subnet so that it can connect to the internet so task for configuring route tables so in stack we'll, in this task we will create a public route table for internet bound traffic and a route to route table to direct internet bound traffic to the internet gateway and associate the public subnet with the new route table so let's go to route table so route table should be here let's open it in the new tab again so i think i can close this tab and then so i can go to vpc column so this is the vpc column so here we have this lab vpc so this is a lab vpc so in the name let's say uh, what do they want us to do it should be a private route table and save so this is a pri uh, uh, private route table so in the route tabs i'll go to routes so we have only one route it shows all traffic that is destined for this ip like this range of so let's create a route table so that was private route table so now let's create a public route table to do that let's create let's say create route table and then let's choose this name private public route table and then let's choose a vpc of lab vpc and let's say create route table so we have this public route table but it is not public yet so we need to add some inbound rules so let's go to edit route and let's say add route edit route add route so in the destination we'll, cho we'll choose uh, this range basically everyone should have the access so it should be internet gateway so for this i'll say internet gateway and then we'll use lab igw and then we'll say save change save changes and then so until now we have created we have attached that internet gateway to the route table so now we need to associate to associate this with a new route table in the public subnet so we need to go to subnet association tab so this is the subnet association tab so we have public subnet and private subnet and then we need to edit the subnet association and let's say edit subnet association let's edit this so the, the the public subnet is now public because it has a route table entry that sends traffic to internet gate, internet via the gate, internet gateway. Let's say let's say save association. So with this, like we have created an internet gateway, we have created an, an route table, we have added a route in the route table that directs traffic from zero 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 to the internet gateway, and then we also and also we have associated the route table with the subnet, which thus becomes a public subnet. So now let's create a, so let's create a security group for the application server. So let's go to security groups. So it should be inside this security. And then let's say create security group. So I think we don't need this step. So let's let me just close it. Let's follow along. App so let's say app security group. low HTTP traffic and then we need to choose your lab VPC and then create security group so now we need to verify the inbound rule tab is selected below and the inbound rule determine what traffic is permitted to each instance okay so let's go to inbound rule let's say edit inbound rule and then we have to add rule let's say add rule so now type would be http http source would be any for ipv4 and then let's say hello web access so this security group basically means that i can access the internet like let's save rule so now we've created a security group so now we need to launch an application server in the public subnet so let's go to EC2. 
so this is easy to and then let's go to instances and then let's say launch instance launch instance so now we are creating a new instance let's launch an instance in the name of app server app server so these things remain same instance type t2 micro it's same so we need to choose a key pair to be voki voki so inside this network setting i need to choose edit then i need to configure so here we'll be choosing lab vpc and then it should be public subnet because we want to connect this ec2 through the public subnet and then let's choose the existing security group which we created so fsg so let's follow along and under firewall security group choose select and we have done this storage section can be default that's and then advanced detail and then i am instance profile so this should be inventory app role what's here inventory app role so it was in the top and then inside this user data i can go in copy paste this thing so user data copy paste and then after this i can say launch instance so now we're creating a new ec2 instance so now we can say choose view all instances basically you can do from these instances so you can see our new instance is creating currently so the state is pending right now so we need to wait until this health check status check or health check it's two out of two so this may take few minutes so let's wait until this is uh, the, the status check is two out of two so after waiting for a few minutes so we have to get the status check of two out of two so let's follow along and then we need to choose this app server app server and then copy the ipb for dns so in the detail step of the bottom page so i need to copy this and then run in the new tab so if the configured VP, if we configured vpc correctly then inventory application and this message should appear please configure setting to connect to database so finally after running this url so we're able to get access to this inventory system so as mentioned here so yes we don't have any configuration there since we see the inventory application so it demonstrated that the public subnet was correctly configured so as you can see here we have this inventory system so because of that we can define that we are able to run the inventory application successfully so that's it from this guided labs so let's submit this lab let's say yes and i think this is it from this guided lab so see you again in another lab or in another knowledge check. Thank you.